Hi, cat. <laughs> Come and get some mango, baby. Self-awareness is a superpower. My name is Kathy LaDonna. Welcome to Soul and Vibration. I hope the free thinkers are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I'm happy to remind you that you are the most powerful person that you know. You are the most powerful person that you know because only you can create your reality. Hey guys, today is Monday, Moon Day, November 6th, and the energies in the day adds up and reduces the number six vibration. If today is your birthday, happy birthday. So when it comes to the spirit animal, I feel so bad for the moon, not bad for the moon, but the moon is like our inner world. And I feel like during the time it was in Leo, it just felt like the inner world was under attack in the sense that it's like outside forces feels like they're like, it's like a, a struggle. It's like a tussle. It's like, it's like playing, uh, it's like playing chicken. I think they were call it where it's like, you know, are you calling my bluff? Am I calling your bluff? It just felt like that energy for the poor moon, like all through its time in Leo. And I feel bad for it in the sense that with it in Leo, you know, our inner world is in a place where we might be a little bit more self-righteous than we should or be a little bit more egoic than we should. So when we're facing these things outside of ourselves, we might be super dramatic about what it is that we're facing and experiencing because it's like, how dear this happened to me. This is not supposed to happen to me. And... <laughs> The otter, the cute little otter. I still see the otter holding hands. Like now is this joke on Patreon um, when we meet up on, we meet up every last Sunday, every last Sunday. So like um, now when I see the otter, I see something different, but I don't see the otter in a negative light. So before I remember someone commented on, in, in the comments on YouTube and told me about how otter hold hands when they sleep so that they don't float away. But even thinking about this now and then how I was schooled about otters in the meetup group, it just makes me think how otters are super opportunistic in the sense that they hold hands when they sleep, not because they're cuddly and they love each other, but they're all about survival. So this is making me think that the otter is like a child of Pluto. It's like scorpionic energy where it's all about like self, starts with the R, I think, you know, but with the otter energy, you know, the otter coming out as a spirit animal today with the otter as a spirit animal and say moon is in Leo energy and how, you know, the savage stories I've heard about the otter, this is bringing me to work smarter and not harder and work smarter and not harder in the sense that, um, someone shared a story with me about how, um, someone shared a story with me about how someone was able to solve a problem. Ooh, okay. So when I think of the otter energy, even though with the stories that I hear from the otter energy where it's like, yeah, they might do some kidnapping and things like that to get their way. I think about, you know, when it comes to say the energies in today and the energies in today adds up and reduces the number six energy and the number six energy deals with community. It deals with family. It deals with responsibility. And today is also Monday where emotions are high with the otter energy. I'm getting not to allow your emotions to get in the way of anything and instead find more strategic ways to solve problems or to get stuff done. 
and not to get your emotions involved. Yeah, don't get your emotions involved. And Otter Energy does deal with water, but I'm thinking emotional st stability, emotional security. It's like being level-headed about things because when it comes to the energies in today, I don't know why, but I feel like, you know, somebody might be crying or might cry today in the sense that the energies might feel super overwhelming and might feel a little bit dramatic about how things feel. I, I, I get the feeling with the otter energy is like someone getting in their feelings about something. Okay, so the other day um, I was paying on my student loan. And at first, when I was getting ready to pay it, like, I found myself getting mad. But then I'm like, didn't you go to school? Like, didn't you choose to go? Like, did someone trick you? And then I had to switch that attitude and just, you know, happily pay it because it's like, I have to pay this bill. Like, no matter what, I have to pay this bill. So because I have to pay this bill... I need to change my approach and pay it with gratitude opposed to, you know, feeling angry as I'm in the process, like somebody sticking me up and robbing me. And when it comes to the energies in today, I'm getting that where it's like, you got to change your perspective on something that you're dealing with. And yes, something about it might feel unfair, but at the same time, you made an agreement, you made an agreement and now you're being held accountable for your agreement. And you might find yourself feeling pissed the hell off. And I feel like the otter is, I feel like with the otter energy, I don't feel like the otter is on my side when i look at this i think of like the otter being on the other side where it's like yeah i did sign up for this but like when i look at the interest and the different things or whatever it's like you know like you bamboozling me but like i still made this choice you know i still choose to get involved with it you know what i mean and i wouldn't change it because i feel like you can't put a price on your education. Like you can't go wrong with educating yourself. And I did learn a lot, but either way, I feel like someone's going through something very similar today where it's like, you feel like it's unfair, but you got to change your perspective. Changing your perspective is not for anybody else, but you, because boy, I tell you when I was getting ready to pay on that student loan, like I was in my feelings, like they done tied me up gave me a compliance drink like Black Mirror and send me to sign off and go for something that I chose to go for. So with the Otter Energy, I'm getting, you know, get out of your feelings, get out of your feelings. You might feel like somebody done kidnapped somebody for you, set you up, and now they calling you to pay. And it's like, what's your role in it? Like accountability. Like I had to hold myself accountable the other day. I had to hold myself accountable because it's like, you know, you don't got that much left to go. So just do it. Just, just make it happen. Like, and yeah, somebody need to hear that. And I know, you know, you don't want to hear that, but it's like, it is what it is today. The energy is adding up. See this card fighting to come out. Get into this energy right here, the four of swords in a meditative state. If you look at the four of swords, this person's laying on their back and they got one sword underneath them. And the one sword represents like ideas and the three swords above them to me represents a solution because the number three is a very resourceful solution oriented energy. So instead think back, think of some kind of a solution when it comes to your situation, but don't allow yourself to get into victim consciousness mindset because it will not benefit you. And that's what I had to do the other day and why I had to jumpstart my mindset the way I did. Like I would not, I did not allow myself to start feeling sorry for this thing that I got to pay back when I agreed to it. Like no one made me sign up for it. And instead I sat right here in this chair and came up with a strategy on how I could knock it out and get it out of my life sooner than later. And that's all that you can do when it comes to what you're dealing with today. How can you come up with a strategy, be more resourceful because the resources are always available, but it's a matter of us seeing them. And for me, my strategy or part of my strategy is to, you know, 
basically downsize when it comes to certain things in my life that I really don't need so that I could put more of it into that area so I could get it out of my life, get it out of my life so I don't have anything to do with it. Because the more it lingers around, the more the interest and stuff grows. And some of you might be in situations with student loans also where it's like, you know, you might put in so many hours. Like I have a friend who is in education and has like a hundred thousand, like, like almost a hundred, like over a hundred thousand dollars worth. And, you know, there's an, a, a, an opportunity for them to work in the field for a certain amount of time and they'll have it uh, excused. So it's like, what are your options? What are your options right now? And what can you do to make things better? So that's what I'm getting with, with the energies in today. Instead of allowing yourself to feel like, woe is me, they robbing me. Instead, like get into your badass energy and 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 fight back fight back by coming up with a solution but do not allow yourself to be the victim because to me moon and leo deals with courage and i got my moon and leo and sometimes it could be good and sometimes it could be bad it could be bad in the sense that there are situations when i am the victim and i need to acknowledge that i am so that i could heal from that and also hold you know hold accountability put accountability where it belongs but at the same time, for me, what I love about it is that it won't allow me to be the victim. If I don't, ha it won't, it won't take that position in the sense that you can't be the victim and victorious at the same time. And if I'm the victim in a situation, and when I'm speaking solely about what I'm talking about, so don't make it about nothing else. But like about what I'm talking about, if I'm the victim when it comes to my education, let's say then that means that someone else is responsible to make things better. And I'm going to have to sit around and wait until they decide to make it better. Where no, I have to sit down and see how I can take, take responsibility for my situation and make things happen for myself. And when I look at the moon and Leo is being, it's a part of a T square It's being squared on every angle. Like is being opposed by Saturn and Pisces. And to me, Saturn and Pisces is where we'll come up with a solution. We'll be creative and come up with a solution, but our moon don't want to hear that because our moon is in a position where, you know, like, like being extra hella dramatic and just self-righteous. And then it's being squared by Scorpio and Taurus and both energies deal with finances on different level and the inner world just don't want to hear that. And then today is the six and the energies in the day adds up and reduce the number six energy. And then with it being Monday, Mondays are always super sensitive because Monday is ruled by the moon. So today is a day where you want to do self care, but more than anything today, today you want to do some gratitude work. You definitely want to do some gratitude work today so you don't get pulled in to certain victim consciousness energies because the reason why it's so important to me not to get pulled into that because if I allow that energy to take me over, it's like say you feel yourself catching a cold and you feel yourself getting a bug and right away when you start getting a bug, you know that it's time to load up on your vitamin C, your vitamin D, your zinc your vitamin C, your vitamin D, and your zinc, just to name a few. You know it's time to do that. You bust out your herb. You start drinking your ginger and stuff like that. So it's like the minute you feel symptoms of a bug, you load yourself up with all what you need and you start watching your comedy. So you laugh that bug off and you cleanse your body and you sit in the sun and you do what you got to do. To me, it's the same thing when you start to come down with the virus of the mind of victim consciousness mindset. You got to figure out ways to shake it because if you don't, it will consume you the same way a virus will consume you and cause you to be stuck in the bed and one thing could get to the next and it creating other issues. You know what I mean? Same thing with the victim consciousness mindset. So when I find myself developing it, coming on with it, and it happens all the time. And the minute I catch it, I got to remedy it. So say, you know, with me, when I was, uh, you know, paying on that student loan and catch myself with an attitude, not wanting to give up my money, you know, I had to say like, you know, who forced you? No one. You chose to, you didn't even need to, you chose to, cause you wanted the experience and you learned things and you enjoyed it. So 
pay for it. Like I had to talk to myself like that. And then after, like I shift my energy and instead I was grateful that, you know, I was even in the position to make that choice and grateful that I'm in the position, you know, like, you know, some people might not be in the position, but you know, just challenge yourself today to look for something to be grateful for. Like today, looking for something to be grateful for and genuinely things that you're genuinely grateful for. You can't fake this. And to me, that will shift the energies because with all the number six energy today, we can find ourselves looking around at the material aspects of our lives and just feel like S-H-I-T, you know, when it comes to the material aspects of our lives, feeling like, you know, your body look like crap. It ain't good enough. Your face look like crap. It ain't good enough. Where you live is crap. It ain't enough. Your career status is crap. It ain't enough. Like today is a day where nothing nothing will feel like it's enough. And with the four of swords energy, just surrender, surrender. And like I said, first go into gratitude mode, first go into gratitude mode and just think about all the things in your life that you're grateful for right now. And, you know, some of those things might just be that you have access to the internet to look into motivational content to inspire and empower you. Like something that I always tell my brothers is like, if you see a man over there and he got something that you would like that you don't have, that man is not better than you. That man knows something that you don't know. And if you dedicate yourself to know what that man know, you can have what that man have if you want it. You know what I mean? So when we look out into the world and we see people, it's like there's something they know that we don't know. And that thing that they might know that we might not know might be, say, you know, thinking positive and expecting things to work out for us, expecting things to go our way. Because I feel like when it comes to media, movies and marketing and things like that, we're more conditioned to expect the worst. And when we expect the worst, we get the worst. So we get what we expect where others who seem more privileged, they only expect for things to work out for them. And as they expect, as you know, so they get. So when it comes to say that loan, that debt, that financial thing that you're dealing with today, expect for it to work out. You don't need to know how, just expect for it to work out. You know, expect for it to work out. But before you even get to that point of expectation, sit down and reflect on where you are and rewind to the past. So when you were in a challenging moment, like how you might feel in this moment or frustrated or overwhelmed, reflect to the past to a time when you feel similar to how you felt now, because trust me, you have inventory of that in your mind. And when you re reflect back to that time and then you start playing the tape forward, you'll realize that things always work themselves out and this moment is no different. So reflect on the past and how things have worked themselves out and say thank you, you know, to God, the universe, creator, whoever. Reflect on the people that showed up and helped you, the situations that worked out for you, the miracles that happened, you know, whatever you need to do. Like I've had moments when I would play old school reggae gospel because that's what my grandmother would listen to all the time. And it just makes me feel like home and it puts me in a good space. And, you know, play music, do whatever you need to do to shift your frequency and say thank you. Because, you know, we whenever we're, you know, showing gratitude, you know, gratitude keeps you in a good mood. You cannot feel grateful and limited at the same time. Gratitude puts you in abundant energy. So, you know, after you get from that stage of being grateful, then you start to solve your situation because you cannot solve a problem from a problematic mind. You always want to try to solve your problems from a place where you're feeling grateful and you're feeling good. So first shift your energy to feel grateful and feel good and then focus on a solution when it comes to today. So the cute little otter, you know, you don't need to kidnap nobody, nothing. And and get no ransom or none of that, you know, just surrender, be grateful and, you know, let that strategy come to you. Such a pleasure sharing this message with you. If you'd like to book a natal chart awareness coaching session with me or check out my exclusive weekly content only available on Patreon, the links for that is in the description box below. Before you go anywhere, please let me know you're here with me by dropping me a white heart in the comment box below. I would love to hear from you and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow.
Love yourself as if your life depended on it because it does. Take care of yourself and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.